Hi, this is Bryce with eLearning Brothers. Today I want to show you around the PowerPoint interactions and how you can insert it into your own project. So first off, I want to show you the uh, some of the download options that will be available. So uh, for each one of the PowerPoint objects, we'll always have a PPT and a PPTX available for you to download. And uh, depending on what you need and what your needs are, uh, you can go ahead and download either one of those. Also, what we'll have available is either a font file or, or some of the assets that we used for that particular interaction. So take, for example, this one interaction. We just had a special font that we used that um, was outside of uh, the development inside of, um, inside of PowerPoint. However, if we're ever using like a uh, Photoshop or Illustrator file, we'll also include that as well in this, uh, in this download as a zipped document or something like that. So that's what you'll see uh, most commonly around in the download options. But um, today I'm just going to go ahead and download the, the PPTX file. And I already have that downloaded and opened. So, um, so right here... I uh, can now also see the interaction again uh, if I wanted to just kind of look at it and make sure it's all working properly. So um, I go to tab two, uh, the content comes into site and I can now see the, the interaction happen. So, so that's how it should work. Now, if I wanted to insert this into say uh, another course or another uh, PowerPoint or file, I want to just go ahead and oh sorry if I if I skipped over that uh, real quick I, I copied all of those so I highlighted all of them and then copied them so I went to copy now I minimize this and I'm going to go now to my own course and say I want this interaction to happen right after um, maybe this slide here so if I paste I have a couple options to to paste this in with. I can either paste it in with the, the destination theme, so the theme that's used here, um, paste it in with that theme, or keep the source formatting. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep source formatting. So I keep that same uh, look that was in the, uh, the original document. So if I do that, I get this look. And, and now, now check this out. So now if I go ahead and try to play this, I want to show you the, the issue that will come about. So if I go ahead and click tab 2, it will go to a new slide or a different slide. So, so that's where the problem lies, and that's what I want to show you how to uh, work out and how to fix. So first I'll, I'll go to tab 6, and I can change the content here. The, um, the introduction text and the buttons are actually in the... Um, in the master slides. So I can go to the master slides and if you see here there's actually two different master slides for each one of these interactions. And there's a purpose to that. However, um, what you need to know is that uh, you need to change these um, actions for the buttons on both slides here. So, um, so if I were to go to tab 2 and uh, go up to uh, let's see, insert and um, if I go to the action, now I can see it's hyperlinked to uh, a certain uh, slide in the course. However, this isn't the slide that I want. It says your course title here. That's not the, the right slide. So I'll, I'll select that and hit slide. And now I pick the slide that I want it to jump to when I click on slide two. So um, it's this one here that says content two. So I press OK. Press OK here, and now this button now will uh, navigate to my second um, content window in this one interaction. Now, one thing I do want you to be aware of: see if I select the uh, this button with um, having the uh, the cursor be in the uh, the text area, and I go up to Actions, it won't have that hyperlink. The only way I can see what hi what it's hyperlinked to is if I select the entire button. So if I have that, it won't work. But if I have it like that, it will. So I go to here. Now it says slide four, but I don't want it to go to slide four. I want it to go to slide. I think it was a nine. So nine. I go press OK, and I do that for the rest of the other ones. So this one slide ten. 
Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this so you don't have to sit through the whole process. But you get to, to kind of see how the, the whole thing works. Okay, so now that I'm, I have those all reprogrammed to the, the proper slides, I can now come out of the master slide view and um, and now if I play it I can now go to each individual slide properly just like that okay so that's the tutorial on how to insert an eLearning Brothers interaction inside of one of your own courses okay I hope that helped and have a nice day